I'm still staying in Lagos. The chief of the naval staff, Emmanuel Ogala, says the Navy is open to any partnership aimed at complementing the federal government's objective of promoting security and safety in the nation's maritime environment so as to create the enabling atmosphere for businesses to thrive. The CNS said this is imperative to actualize the lofty goal of boosting the contribution of the blue economy to the GDP. Michael Olale reports. The Nigerian Navy, through its assets consisting of ships and vessels, has been able to instill its authority on the nation's waterways and behind the scene is an unseen hand offering technical support, especially in silencing the noise that once deafened the Gulf of Guinea. Uh -huh. This visit by the Chief of Naval Staff to the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Nimasa, is to give kudos to that unseen hands in supporting the Navy in the area of regulations and laws which formed the basis for enforcement. The CNS said, with platforms like the C4I Center, the country has maintained visibility over its waters while reducing crime, hoping that the renewal of existing memorandum of understanding will create avenue for strengthening the country's capacity to protect its maritime space. Many of the vessels that uh, have the intention to come to commit crime, they put off their AIS. We have arrested some of these vessels and handed them over to Nimasa. We will continue to do that. We are working for the benefit of our nation, Nigeria. And if we're able to do our job well, the whole country will be better for it. Incidences of crimes will reduce. We will sit down again to review the MOU and come up with a better uh, SOP for us to enhance and uh, make use of our uh, uh, relationship. The two agencies agree that since securing the maritime environment is the key to unlocking the nation's marine and blue economy, then the commitment for the future is to continue deepening partnership. In Lagos, Michael Olale, NT News.